Hello guys, today we will show you how to flush outboard engine. So, the first thing we start is we need to remove these three 14 bolts, it's on the other side also. Let's remove the lower unit. So, there is gonna be some resistance on the bolt, so don't be afraid to undo it, it's not a problem. Okay, you see, like that, so then it goes by hand. So when you finished undoing six bolts for the lower unit, you, you will need uh, to undo this one inside of the case. You have another one inside. Leave this one, this bolt hanging about 50% off so it doesn't fall on the ground if it falls. Usually they are stuck. So we need to remove the flap. The socket is 14. Okay, so inside you have number 19. You need to remove that one also. So now with the extension and the socket 19, we remove the inside bolt. This one is a little bit hard to remove. So, and there is the washer inside, don't, don't lose it. So, when you removed all of the bolts, you have rubber hammer, and then you hit it somewhere here. Don't hit it on the flaps, because you can break it, just where, where it's very thick. Usually they stuck here. So now you see it's coming off. So you have this bolt that is holding the lower unit so it doesn't fall on the ground. So now you need two people. Now we remove the lower unit. And next step is uh, to remove uh, alternator cover and thermostats. Again. This is the alternator cover and the pulley cover. You have four bolts, two short ones, and on the front is the longer ones. The socket is 10. So, uh, you just pick it up, like this, pull it to, to yourself, and then you have the breather tube. You remove the breather tube, here, and lay it aside, and just pull it, that's it. We're removing two these thermostats housings, and then we're gonna remove them, remove thermostats, and put them back without thermostats. So the, the engine, when we are flushing it, it's circulating through the head and through everything. Now when we remove the thermostats and the other, you have the, you see this one, this tube, you will need to find something like like this and stick it here it needs to go inside it's gonna be a little bit hard so you're gonna look like this when you finish the thermostats you need the one hose that it's the when the engine is flashing it's going back here so it's circulating you need a one pump battery and this the bucket needs to be close to the engine so it doesn't splash out and then you need one solution for the flushing half of the bucket And half needs to be with the water. And then you turn it on. So if it's not enough water, just add more. It should look something like that. And you need to do that for about two hours. When it's finished, you will need to disconnect the battery from here and then you will need to remove the solution and just flush it with water. I will show you how. So now when you remove the bucket with the solution, plug the hose with the water here in the same hose and leave it running for minimum 15 to 20 minutes. When, when we finish flushing the engine, we need to put the, the thermostat back in the engine. Mm. 
with every bolt in the marine type of stuff you always grease the threads always this is for the thermostat housing always grease the threads and for the lower unit you need some grease and every part where is this just grease it up this one and for the shift shifting knob and inside here just take the flap come here you see this dot it needs to align with this one so it's gonna be offset i'm gonna show you so this you see it, it's aligned and here it's not straight so that's normal that's how it needs to be and just tighten it up so flash uh outboard <laughs> Hello guys, today my, me, my friend and I, hello guys. Suka <laughs>